Sometimes it still shocks me that it's December. Do you think the kitchen will be done by Christmas? I started thrift shopping because of budget. We are back at our second home. I was not happy. I can't believe you came with that. I'd love to start a family in 2023. Are these like two big resolutions? This would be like huge. Hello guys. Happy Vlogmas Day nine. Nine. Wait, I gotta check my calendar. Yes, nine. Happy Vlogmas Day nine. <sighs> what are we gonna do today? I don't know. So I'm hungry. That's the extent. I just heard my stomach roll. That's the extent of my thought process. I've been editing all morning. It's lunchtime. The hunger is taking over. So I'm getting a little ready. You know, we're on the last batch of orders uh, for the All The Things collection. It's taking quite, that's all Romeo has been doing for two days. <laughs> it's a lot and you know, I have to write all the notes. So it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. <laughs> um, so we're on the last batch, you're going out today. So we're gonna be going in, heading into town to drop those off. And um, we're gonna go grab some lunch at uh, the lake house. Romeo was like randomly, oh, the lake house sounds really good. He rarely says that. They have a really good shrimp wrap with sweet potato fries, really good. Okay, I'm just getting a little bit ready. To, I'm, I'm gonna do a few things in the kitchen today, but not much. Seal, you know, the wood and stuff. I'm kind of still just adding to this next renovation video that you guys are gonna see. And then, yeah, that's about it. Sometimes it still shocks me that it's December and it's Christmas and <laughs> it's just, it's just, it's just wild. And it's like, we're in a new place. So last Christmas, you know, I was staying with my parents. I was in a new place the majority of the month. This Christmas, we're in majority of the month in the cottage. So like, I feel like the last three years, I've had a new experience with December. And, oh, my mom! I've had a new experience with December. What is my mom saying? A picture, oh, of a Christmas tree. Oh, she bought baby Robbie a, a flocked Christmas tree. But why'd she send it me to? Is she saying, this is my mom for you. Doesn't, no context. Just a picture of the branches laid down. Is she telling me it, it, she's putting up Christmas tree? Is she telling me she doesn't like the Christmas tree? Is she telling me that something's wrong with the Christmas tree? There's a lot to be desired here. Is she telling me where she's putting the Christmas tree? Cause she's kind of like halfway in the dining room, halfway in the hallway. <laughs> Hello? Can you see that? <gasps> I love your pillows! Yeah! Oh, they look great! Oh, your living room looks so much richer. Doesn't it? Yeah, even like the colors. The colors look so rich. Even without the lights on. Oh, I love it! And then when you put your rug back in there, your rug is, your rug is gonna look icy like snow. Oh, yeah. I didn't know from your from your your text what it meant. Did it mean that you didn't like it? Did it mean it was wrong? Just that you're doing it? I didn't know. So that one was cheaper and it came faster? Yeah. And bigger? Will you pick me up some paint? Sure. Okay, Alrighty. You know, eat, run errands, do that stuff, come back. I cannot believe it's so rainy. Like, it literally got sunny for three days and allowed us to do the paved walkway, which I'm grateful for. That's a good thing because we haven't been walking in mud. You know what I mean? But I still have a section there at the very end that I need to finish and it's just been, it's been raining, misty, grossy. Look how dark it is in the house and it's like noon. It's weird. In the house, go, go, go. Come on, let's go, let's go. I got a treat for you, let's go. Okay, and we're back. It's not raining right now. It's gonna rain later. Looks like it. Smells like it. Smell it. I'm thinking of you, babe, and all your crazy ways. First stop, the post office. Right now, must be these hot days. 
You know you're my everything. The only wow. present I want. You know what I give to be with you under the mistletoe. Romeo and I have way too much fun together. We're just like laughing. He passed. Is this old? He pa no, I just brought that. He passed the restaurant like four times. Went all the way to a different part of the town. <laughs> Oh man, I just want to okay, eat. Okay, we're going to eat. We're starving. Oh my. We're just eating crackers because we're so hungry. So hungry. <laughs> we're eating a little bit. There is at an odd eating time. There's barely anybody here. These are lunch. I know. It's because we've been staying up so late. You went to sleep at three. Wow. <laughs> is this all the things playing? She's like. <laughs> It was fun though. It was fun. Now I know how to embroider. Mm. What did someone say or someone commented that we should make? We should make tote bags out of gifted fabric. You I love that. A lot of fabric already. Yeah, That's I buy. Idea. Yeah, I find fabric that I really like. Like, um, I look at the fabric at their stores from like drapes and bed skirt. You know, I need like those um, cafe curtains in the in the guest bathroom out of thrifted fabric. I feel like there's so much that can be reused. We should look. Yeah, because it's more unique and it's reusing, it's better for the environment. All the, all the, all the things. You could limit the amount. It didn't start like that. We didn't, I personally didn't start thrifting with the mindset of like, oh, all of this stuff is thrown away and saving the landfill. That's just, that was just my own personal experience with it. I started thrift shopping because of budget and like we didn't have a ton of money to decorate our home. and. We just, I just started going and then it like sunk in that there is so much still out there. There's so much that already exists, especially like dishes. And, like how much more do we need, you know? And then it started to sink in that this was doing good for the environment. And so it was, it was second, like um, we're not gonna sit here and say like we are like saving the earth. Like, you know, like we try, we try yeah. to do our best, but like that didn't always the case with knowledge and experience comes you know like doing better every day and that's all we can do you know what i mean so it didn't it didn't start that way but i'm so happy that we got to the place that we're at because we're able to do things like this to reuse the sweatshirts and now we can find some fabrics and do some tote bags which are really yes. cute i use tote bags i mean my i love my tote bags tote you do you thrifted that from the goodwill bins huh oh my gosh you guys ever go to a restaurant and your eyes are bigger than your stomach you order way too much food because that's what Romeo does every time we go eat. <laughs> we're so Way full. too many crackers before too. Because we're starving and they have these little, ba little baskets of crackers. I need coffee to wash it down. Ah, uh, we're back at our home. We are back at our second that's home. I made a list of the things that we needed. So we need, I need a caulk filler. It's something to put behind or like jam into um, space and you can caulk over it. Spaces that are too big for just the, like the liquid caulking. So I need that. Romeo needs boxes. We need packing tape. I said match stain, but I don't know what that was for. Ooh, packing tape. What it's like. I've never been back to this aisle before. I guess I've never, never needed storage things. <laughs> Look, I found it. Look, it's like foamy, foamy rope that you, it's a caulk, it's a polyfoam caulk saver. See, you put it, you don't believe me, you put it in the crack. <laughs> He's making fun of me. He asked me what this did and what you do with it and I said, you put it in the crack. <laughs> you put it in the crack. What you? You see what it is. Okay, we've made it back home. Look what I got! Well, I stopped by and got some Christmas lights too. I was drinking coffee and my hands were full so I didn't film in the store. Um, but I got some little Christmas uh, green, okay, I'll show you. Green wire mini lights because I got two little cute real Christmas trees for $20 at the hardware store. It's for each side of the door. I'll show you guys, I'll show you guys tomorrow when it's day. It's dark outside. But I want to light them. Um, and I'm gonna kind of, we're gonna work on the outside lights soon. I wanna hang all of our white wire. Kinsley, see what I mean? I'm not lying, you guys, she gets jealous. She has not made a peep the whole time we've been home. Now all of a sudden she wants to yell, hey, come with us. 
She doesn't want to be she doesn't want to be held either. Look, we're gonna figure out the outdoor lights and how we're gonna plug them in. We told the electrician that we wanted a Christmas light plug, and the electrician ran off the first time and then kind of showed back up, but then miss, went missing again. So I actually found the scissors this time. I never can find scissors when I open packages. Oh my God, let's see what I got. You guys know I love getting groceries and home goods and all the things really from Thrive. Um, every month I order from them different things. This month I particularly wanted to get um, the snacks I love, plus things for baking because I want to make some cookies. We're going to be doing Christmas here, so we don't have any baking kind of materials. Let's talk baking soda, baking powder, flour. We have none of that. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store that has lots of different products in lots of different categories. Also with their Thrive Gifts program, they give a membership to a veteran, teacher, or person and family in need, which is really, really great. And they are really on a mission to make healthy living affordable and accessible for everyone, every family. I got, I got my veggie chips, love them. I got baking soda. I got two baking sodas. Oh, I really wanted baking soda, didn't I? Maybe I accidentally bought two baking sodas instead of baking soda and baking powder. It's highly possible. I guess I shop just as good for groceries online as I do in person. Ooh, I got almond flour crackers with rosemary and sea salt. All purpose baking flour. I enjoy life mini chips the chocolate morsels for <laughs> chocolate chip cookies, clearly. One of the recipes that I wanted to make, I'll have to find it again, I think I took a screenshot of it. Um, it called for light brown sugar, so I got that as well. I also got some pure vanilla extract, the bigger bottle. When I was on Thrive's website, they had like a whole section for charcuterie. I love a good charcuterie board. And so I was browsing the options that they had, which that's, I love that they kind of section their website like that. So if you're looking for like charcuterie based items, like wine and cheese and meats and, and you know, cold and things like that, you can shop that or you can also shop by value or dietary restrictions or something like that. So vegetarian, key if you're on a specific diet, you can filter all of those products. So I was looking at the charcuterie stuff um, and I got some dry roasted and salted macadamia nuts, salami point loma, rosemary and garlic, Davina fig spread. I love fig. My great grandmother used to have a fig tree in her backyard. Uh, it was really small, but it produced really great figs. So I got, it reminded me of her. So I got that. Romeo recently made us uh, some pasta with this black truffle pomodoro sauce. It was exceptional. So I bought it again. Also, we were running low on dish soap. So I got my Miss Myers. I love this stuff um, in the lemon verbena scent. And they also have home goods. So I always, I always get a candle. This is Clementine and Spruce. So I thought the spruce would smell like Christmas. Oh, I smell the Clementine more. It's more spicy than Christmassy. So Thrive Market guarantees that you will make back the cost of the membership on your orders throughout the year or they will give you back the difference. So you really can't lose. On this order that I just got with all the baking stuff, I saved $44.03. So definitely check out Thrive Market if you haven't already. And if you join Thrive Market today, you can get 30% off your first order and a free gift valued up to $60. Okay, I'm gonna put this away really quickly. Let's see. I'm gonna have to order baking powder in this. Mm. This says it's from Olive Atelier. <laughs> I didn't order anything. Could it be a special gift? I love I love giving gifts. I love receiving gifts. It's just a whole exchange of happiness. You know what I mean? Even their paper is pretty. Oh, a marble bowl. It's beautiful. Oh my, it's so heavy. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, this could be great on the coffee table when we finally get a coffee table. We don't have coffee table. Beautiful. Thank you guys so much. I am obsessed with that. Ah, yes. And I went to see my mom and I had, I brought her some spray paint just a little while ago before we came home. And she said, I got you some ornaments. I'm like, thank you, Dal. Look how pretty these are. They kind of look like lace. 
you see that? Oh, I love them, they're glass. So I got three of these, she got me three of these. And I got this one, look how pretty. Glass wrapped in this like gold netting with the roses. It kind of looks Victorian. And then this one, so nice of her. She clearly knew that I, she was like, she's been telling me for weeks now that she's like, you don't have enough ornaments. If you want this like, you know, abundant Christmas tree, you don't have enough ornaments. And I'm like, I don't know, but I'm picky, you know? So it's hard to find them at thrift stores and estate sales and stuff in the quantity that we needed, um, but these are really special. So that's really exciting. So we can do that too. Okay, I feel like we have been running a mile a minute with like projects and these last couple of projects that I'm excited for you guys to see in the living room. See what I mean? Last couple of projects in the kitchen that I did took a lot out of me over the last couple of days. So I'm making really, really, really great progress though. I just feel like something, I'm like, we've been running a mile a minute with the sweatshirts and with the all the things collection and then the kitchen stuff that I've been doing and just everything else with like editing and vlogmas. So it was just like, okay, today we just need to run errands. I need to do just a few things in the kitchen and then just like wind down and try and not go to sleep super late. So I asked you guys on Instagram, um, ask me anything cute. I like to put Q and A's where there are days um, where it's a little slower and I'm like, just like trying to like recoup to like go the next day. So let's answer some questions while Kinsley barks at us. Kinsley, I kind of, I kind of peeked at the questions earlier and I know a lot of them are going to be, if we're going to have another all the things collection and we, we don't know, we don't, it takes so long to get your hands on enough sweatshirts you know i think that we have we have a few ideas actually of some other products that we could do but it takes so long to get your hands on the sweatshirts that um are, are thrifted and vintage and sourced and that are blank and also not in horrible condition you know because they are so old um that we just don't know and they're so unique and individual that this took a lot out of us i don't know maybe if we if we can find enough product and kind of come together maybe if we find more than we found this time we could actually get them embroidered um at least we know how but we can have them embroidered maybe by a small business and um you know do it that way but I, i'm not sure i'm just so happy that you guys like the collection do you think the kitchen will be done by christmas <laughs> taking a really good stab at it um so i have been working the last couple of days on it major step is getting all of the cabinet doors finished so the problem that i'm running into right now is that i only have three sets of clamps because clamps are not cheap. They're like $30 a piece for the size that I need. So I can only do three at a time and I just find myself doing some and then moving on to another project, doing some and moving on to another project. So I'm not getting all 40 some odd of them completed. And I want all of the doors completed before I paint them because I want to paint them all at once. And then, you know, it's just like we did in the living room for the ones on each side. I actually want to spray them. It's getting colder now. So I, I don't know. So the cabinet doors is a major thing that needs to be completed and also just installing the oven. And if those two things happen, the kitchen is like 95% done, but we'll see. I'm trying, I'm, I'm hoping. How much do you wish to accomplish before Christmas? So I'd like ideally to get as much done in the front part of the house as possible. We're gonna be organizing the porch because it's a disaster that has to be done. I want the living room to be done so I have to finish out the trim and just decorate for Christmas. So it won't be, um, you know, a total renovation. It won't be the final renovation video, but at least I'll have it done enough uh, for my family to come in. All the Christmas decorations are up. I want the kitchen done. I need the oven installed in the kitchen. So we're gonna have to find a new plumber to come out and just run that, split that uh, gas line and run it to the, the, the where we need it. The entryway is done and the guest bathroom is almost done, but I need crown molding. So there's gonna be a lot of crown molding work that I do to finish these spaces. The outside decorated. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get to the railings outside, but as long as I can, I, we're almost there. We just have some things that just need to still happen. So I'm gonna be working a lot for the next two weeks trying to get that happen before I go back to LA. When will you start working on the main bedroom? Really excited for when that happens. After Vlogmas, I take a two week break. Um, so I don't film or edit for two weeks. And then I come back and I, I film for a week and then you see it on the third week. So that's kind of my plan this year because I, I spend so much time doing Vlogmas. 
during that time, I plan. So I'm planning the projects that are gonna come after the new year. We've got two bedrooms, the primary bathroom, the laundry room, and the patios. So those are areas that have not been touched yet. They have not been done except for like the flooring. Um, and so obviously like the outdoor space and stuff, I haven't decided where we're gonna start. I think it's only natural to start um, back there in the primary suite um, because I have all of the stuff that I'm storing in the guest bedroom, you know? So if we can get that room done and then relocate our sleeping for a little bit while I'm designing that room, that would be great. So. Ideally, if I had to say now, the primary suite, so the bedroom and the bathroom, would be the first project that we work on when I'm back to the cottage after the new year. What did you do for a living before all of that? So I have answered a lot of personal questions in a while and I feel like we have some new followers. Uh, so I went to school for fashion design and I was in the fashion industry for many, many, many years, over a decade. And I climbed the corporate ladder. You know, I'm a millennial, so we were <laughs> very much mentally drilled in that you you go to school, you get a degree, you climb the corporate ladder, you get paid, you're happy. I was not happy. I was climbing the corporate ladder and I got further and further away from design and more into marketing. I ended up being a VP of marketing for a very large fashion company and I held that position for years. And I just was not happy. It just wasn't for me. Great job but it just wasn't, I didn't feel fulfilled. I didn't feel like that was could be my life long term. So when I was 29, I was like, I'm doing this. I am making a move before I am I'm making the change before I turn 30. I know I'll regret it if I don't. Um, so I took a leap and I started lots of businesses trying to figure out what my next step was going to be using everything that I knew already, like in terms of like marketing, what I did for a living versus my degree in fashion design and uh, just trying to figure it all out. And I gave myself two years. It just so happened, I fell more in the you know line for interior design, started working for clients. I started uh, designing for other people, designing for apartment buildings even. And then I felt like I was happiest when I was doing my own project. So I started filming. When I dedicate to something, I dive all in and I was dedicated to posting every week. I put the time in, I got more comfortable on camera. So it's been four and a half years since I started my channel, my main channel. And here we are, two channels later, a house later, LA and Texas later. Most people don't know that I had a full on career before this and um, this was, not always my life, but I think that everything in life prepares you for where you're at. I, I'm much happier now. <laughs> Weren't you supposed to come back to Paris with your mom? Yes, we are so supposed to come back to Paris. Um, I was hoping that we would take a trip in March. It just kind of has to all make sense. We haven't booked anything yet, but I definitely want to go. That was her Mother's Day present. But I knew this year it was going to be crazy with the holidays and just some other things that have ha that been happening um, in within the family and stuff. So it, it didn't make sense um, right now, but hopefully um, in the springtime, that would be really fun. How did you get your car from LA to Texas? Well, we drove it twice, actually. We drove from LA to Texas during like, right after kind of like the 2020 craziness. Um, or kind of, we thought we were coming out of it, but we really, we were, there was a confusing time. It was a very strange time. We did that and then because we weren't flying and then we did it again. Romeo did it by himself from LA to Texas to bring my car here because I was here because I wasn't traveling because of the craziness. Um, so he brought it over and then slept in the car all the way here and just like killed it. I can't believe he did that. Does your job cause burnout or do you even feel like you're working? I actually think that it's both. I feel like Sometimes I feel in the mode to do more projects because I need more content. Sometimes I'm creating content and not even feeling like I'm creating content. I don't just film my life. I actually film these like really intense projects that I'm working on and it's, um, I feel it more physically than mentally burnout, if that makes sense. So like even today, like I feel very, sore. I feel like my arm, I was doing tiling and stuff. So my arms and everything are really sore and my body just feels like 
not a hundred. Um, so I know to take those days slower and to recover so that I can get back to it later. Mentally, my mind is always working and never feeling like I'm working. It never feels it. So I feel like my body feels feels burned out for sure. Um, but no, I, I, I love it. I, I don't think of it as work at all. So I'm so grateful in that sense that I get to do something like that. But I also worked really hard to get to this place where I could do something that was like that, to love what I do every day and not feel like it's work because for so for so many years i did something that i didn't love to do when you have kids how will you choose between la and texas in regard to schooling oh that's far <laughs> i am not i don't know i have no idea i haven't thought that far ahead you know like let's just have the kid first and then you know let them get to school age and i don't think figure it out but we've always planned on la being our home base always and that's still that still is today but that made me laugh <laughs> thanks for the giggle that was making me laugh should i be thinking about that now i'm kind of panicking maybe i should think about that i don't know Ooh, this is a good one okay 2023 resolutions and goals i haven't quite set any yet i do feel like 2022 was like the best i feel like mental health wise project wise work wise um you know, even though we had a few family scares this year, um, I feel like we're come we're out on the other side of that, and I feel like this truly was personally my best year by far. I I just loved everything about this year. Uh, my best friends got married. There were so many exciting things that happened. I know for sure a 2023 goal is a home in LA. That would just make my heart so happy. Like you guys have no idea. You guys have no idea. The cottage was always a project home and it very much feels like that. We just always knew we wanted to get back to LA and start a family there. And just that was where we're going to be. So that's a huge resolution for me. I'd love to start a family in 2023. Are these like two big resolutions? This would be like huge. Finding a home in LA and starting a family would be the best. But everything else, as long as it continues to be like this and with everyone happy and healthy, I'm good. Like just more of the same and yeah, sprinkle on top a new house and more more family members would be great. I am gonna grab a little snack down here and you guys don't forget you can join Thrive Market today and get 30% off your first order and a free gift valued up to $60. Kinsley is asleep on the booth. Look. Hello. I told you she likes the poofs. Hi. Oh, she's so sweet. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Are you gonna tell him we're gonna see him tomorrow for another vlog? Yeah. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna see him tomorrow. Yeah. Bye guys. Neighbors singing tales of yours. It's